Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into the fascinating history of India, a land with a rich cultural tapestry that has evolved over thousands of years. In this video, we'll explore the ancient origins of the Indian population, tracing their ancestral lineages all the way back to the times of Noah. It's a journey that encompasses genetics, history, language, and theology. After watching the video, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Please leave your likes, comments, and share it with those who are curious about the Indian population and its ancient roots. This is another installment in our series, The Origins of Peoples According to the Bible. The indigenous people of India have a unique history that extends far beyond the Asian continent. Their genetic and historical origins can be traced back to Africa. Genetic studies and DNA tests have revealed fascinating insights especially among the inhabitants of southern India. These tests indicate a strong link to an African ancestry, possibly originating from what is now Ethiopia and Sudan. The African population we're referring to was among the first to migrate out of Africa and settle in different parts of the world. They embarked on a migratory journey from Ethiopia and Sudan, ultimately making their way to India. Upon arrival, particularly in southern India, they established themselves and became an integral part of the region. The Andamanese, who possessed DNA that reflects their ancient African origins, migrated to the Asian continent and reached the territory we now know as South Asia, specifically India. Over time, they flourished in the region, and their descendants, known as the Dravidians, continue to thrive to this day. India is home to a significant presence of African origin DNA, particularly among two groups, the Andamanese and the Dravidians. The Andamanese are the indigenous people living in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, a collection of islands that belong to India and are situated in the Indian Ocean. They are among the oldest and most secluded indigenous populations in the world, with a distinct cultural and linguistic heritage. On the other hand, the Dravidians are a dominant ethnic group found in southern India and parts of Sri Lanka. They have their own unique cultural and linguistic traditions. The Dravidians are known for their Dravidian languages, which form a major language family in India, including Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, and Malayalam. Following the initial African migration to India, there was a subsequent influx of Iranian farmers originating from present-day Iraq. These farmers traveled through Afghanistan and Pakistan to reach Indian territory. They constituted the first wave of migrants who interacted extensively with the local Indian population, particularly with the already established African communities in the region. This interaction resulted in a significant blending of genetic traits, shaping the genetic makeup of present-day Indians. Genetic studies revealed that this fusion led to approximately 45% Afro-Dravidian DNA and 45% ancient Iranian DNA. Consequently, modern Indians exhibit a remarkable amalgamation of influences, representing a unique combination that dates back thousands of years, originating from both ancient African and Iranian migration. Even today, South Indians exhibit notable levels of Afro-Dravidian genetics. Within this group, the Telugu people possess around 55% Afro-Dravidian ancestry, the Kannada people have about 70%, the Tamil people have roughly 80%, and the Malayalam people have a striking 87% Afro-Dravidian ancestry. Interestingly, the Malayalam people share noteworthy similarities with the Andamanese, who directly descend from the Africans that initially migrated to what is now India. Alongside the African genetic influence that has become an integral part of the indigenous genetics in India, there was a significant mixing of Afro-Dravidian Indians with Iranian immigrants who migrated to the region. This blending was followed by the arrival of the ancestors of the Indo-Aryans who made substantial contributions to the genetic composition of the Indian population. One of the most notable contributions of the Indo-Aryans to India was their profound influence on language, Sanskrit, among the various Indo-Aryan languages spoken in India, including Hindi, originated as a spoken language and evolved into a highly sophisticated and refined language primarily used in religious, literary, and philosophical texts. Sanskrit exhibits a highly systematic grammatical structure featuring intricate verb conjugation, intricate noun forms, and complex syntax. 
A distinctive aspect of Sanskrit is its writing system known as Devanagari, comprising intricate symbols that represent both sounds and ideas. This script is not only used for Sanskrit, but also for several other Indian languages like Hindi, Marathi, and Nepali. Hindi, in particular, holds significant prominence as one of the most widely spoken languages in the world and serves as the official language of India. It is an Indo-European language that evolved from Sanskrit and Prakrit, an ancient Indo-Aryan language. Modern Hindi represents one of the standardized forms of the language known as Standard Hindi. This linguistic diversity beautifully reflects the rich cultural and historical tapestry of the Indian subcontinent. Indo-Aryan languages belong to the Indo-Aryan branch within the broader Indo-European language family, often referred to as the Japhetic linguistic family. The term Japhetic alludes to Japheth, one of Noah's sons who is considered the ancestor of present-day Europeans and many Iranians who trace their lineage back to Japheth. Indo-Iranian populations also mixed, although to a lesser extent than the Aryans with the local Dravidian or Afro-Dravidian populations. This blending gave rise to a new population, which eventually became the contemporary Indians we see today. In South India, people often exhibit physical features and genetics more closely related to the Dravidians, who directly descend from African ancestors. On the other hand, in North India, there is a stronger influence from the intermixing with Aryans and Iranians. However, it's important to note that all populations in both North and South India have undergone extensive mixing. While certain groups may show higher levels of ancestry from specific populations or genetic traits, they are all deeply interconnected. An intriguing aspect of North Indians is that they gave rise to another population that eventually became nomadic and migrated out of Indian territory for various reasons. This population ventured to the Middle East, Europe, and even the Americas. They are known as the Roma, who directly descend from North Indians, primarily from the Punjab region. While there is uncertainty about the genetic origins of the Roma, they themselves maintain an air of mystery around their ancestry. However, linguistic studies have revealed significant similarities between the Roma language, Romani, and Hindi, as well as other Indian languages. This linguistic evidence suggests that the Roma have their roots in India. In addition to the Indo-European language family, specifically the Indo-Aryan branch and its various languages spoken in India, there is another prominent language family predominantly found in the southern part of the country, the Dravidian language family. This language family includes the Dravidian languages, with Tamil being one of the most prominent languages within this group. Tamil is an ancient language primarily spoken in the southern region of India. As is our tradition on this channel, we are delighted to explore various topics, including ethnicity, genetic history, linguistics, and culture. We also delve into the biblical origins of different populations around the world, drawing upon the genealogies of Noah as described in Genesis 10 and the Book of Chronicles. This approach allows us to trace the origins of various populations from the time of Noah to the present day. This series is one of the main highlights of our channel, and we have numerous other videos covering the rich and fascinating history of different peoples. Indians have a long and ancient history that can be traced back to the migration of people from what is now Africa, specifically the region known as the Horn of Africa, particularly Ethiopia or Sudan. This migration occurred a considerable time ago and was responsible for a significant African genetic influence in South India. The ancestral roots of South Indians can be traced back to this African origin, with a strong presence of Khoisan genetic heritage. According to biblical references, these migrations can be connected to Ham, one of Noah's descendants. In northern India, the dominant genetic influences can be attributed to the Iranians and Indo-Aryans, who have ancestral ties to the ancient Persians and Medes. These populations are descendants of Madai, who was the son of Japheth and the grandson of Noah. As a result, the northern region of India carries a significant Japhetic genetic heritage, as Madai was one of the sons of Japheth. The Japhethites migrated to northern India and intermingled with the descendants of the African origin in the southern region, resulting in a blending of different ancestral origins. 
We appreciate the comments and would like to know which other people's origins you are interested in learning about in our future videos. We have received numerous requests and we are committed to conducting thorough studies and research to address all of them. We are grateful to all those who have watched this far. May God bless you and we look forward to seeing you soon.